Wow, it's it's fantastic. <laughs> what is going on here in the Apple Vision Pro? That's amazing. Nice. Hi and welcome back to MRTV. Wow, this is exciting stuff. I am here in the Apple Vision Pro and as you can see, I am in Steam VR using the knuckle controllers. Everything nicely tracked. And yeah, this works with ALVR. Setting this up took me like five minutes. So you have to download the ALVR streamer, link in the description below. You have to um, install ALVR using Test Flight, link down in the description below on your Vision Pro, using the Vision Pro, obviously. Then you have to use Open Space Calibrator. Obviously, you have to have the knuckle controllers. And I'm not even using the dongles, you know. I'm simply using my Big Screen Beyond as a Bluetooth dongle in order to use these controllers. Nice. <laughs> wow. And yeah, I have the nice OLED colors. I set the quality to high. So right here, how does it look? Well, it it still looks like a, a streamed, um, yeah. Stre it still looks like a streamed um, feed, right? There's no question about it. So it's similar to what we can see in the Quest Three when we're streaming. But well. At least we have the nice OLED colors, right? So how about I start Half-Life Alex? Let's see what that is like. Wow, okay. <laughs> that is already nice. You have perfect blacks, obviously. You got the perfect OLED blacks. You have the nice colors. So that's good. And yeah, quality looks decent. Quality looks very decent. Let's simply play a bit then. So this is in the very beginning, which is okay. I'm not going to spoil anything for you if you have not played this game yet. And well, obviously you should. Loading. And yeah, this is like the first scene here on the balcony. And yeah, it's so cool that everything works so well, you know, like I, I can without a problem play this game now using my knuckle controller. So the calibration with the with the tool that I mentioned before is so simple. It is so, so simple. Yeah. I got the normal feedback here, the haptic feedback that I normally would get on the knuckles. Yes, everything works as expected. Nice. Yeah, cool, cool. It's cool to see that it works. Let me simply play a bit. Let's move on. And see what we can do here. Can we do this? Yeah, we can. Yeah, of course. Yes. This is great. And we can still. Of course. We can still write here. Apple. Vision. Pro. Yeah. And what can I say? It's OLED. <laughs> so, how does it compare now to something like the playing this in the big screen beyond? Well, without a doubt, like in the in the big screen beyond, we have the 
perfect signal right from the display port so we don't have like streaming artifacts like I can still see quite a lot of streaming artifacts so without a doubt having the display port uh, direct connection is better there's no question about it so yeah <laughs> that's that <laughs> like periods <laughs> but the Apple Vision Pro it does have um, without a doubt it has um, also advantages over the Big Vision Beyond like for example there's no color shift or very little color shift in the outer peripheral vision that is definitely good um, yeah and we have a better edge stretch clarity here but still this is a streamed picture right this is streaming this is not native yeah but it's 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 great it's it's really really good it's very nice like and especially okay getting this just like that if you already have a vision pro it, it works it works so well obviously you also need the controllers right and dongles or some old um yeah headset that use the knuckles so open space calibrator that's what you have to install and then um like uh, i simply disconnected the display port cable from the from the big screen beyond <coughs> started the knuckles open the open space calibrator and you simply have to start the calibration for the left knuckle and once you've done that then the right knuckle and then you're good Alex, are we good? Yep, got okay Easy peasy. yeah very nice to see that very very nice to see that let me also get the cushion off to 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 maximize the fov Okay, so wow, that that is good. Like <laughs> like now, like now I'm even having a a bigger FOV than with the with the Big Screen Beyond. And yeah, wow. Now we have a nice FOV. We have OLED, we have a good lenses. This is pretty sweet. This is pretty sweet. So if we just could have this kind of experience without streaming but with direct display port connection now this would be pretty sweet wouldn't it This is pretty much the headset that I would make if I'd make an MRTV headset Wow this is really cool. I'm so excited that this works so so nicely and so so easily setting this up, you know? Wow. I really must try out some some more games. And the thing now is I'm here on some mobile laptop, you know? I'm like on a 3080 mobile laptop. I just can imagine like how cool this is gonna be if you have like a high-end PC and I, I know you have a high-end PC right you probably have a very nice high-end PC standing around there yeah so the streaming artifacts here now wow pretty strong but yeah it's streaming it's a streaming solution yeah, it just came from here, right? Yeah. Exactly. Also, I'm using the microphone, the, the built-in microphone now from the Apple Vision Pro, which is pretty nice, right? So, yeah. 
here you have it. Very cool. Hello. Boah, but you really have to maximize level V, like taking the cushion off, you know? Then it's, it's like a really good experience. <coughs> yeah, this with display port. This with display port and we'd have a winner. Something might be coming up, who knows? Wow. And here we go. I have the feeling I will be apprehended now. Hello, I'm sitting here. Don't be so cruel. Wow, it looks really good. You know what? Wow, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> what is going on here? In the Apple Vision Pro, that's amazing! Dad. Nice. Hey, wait, wait, no, no, no. And as you can tell now, I'm not anymore in Half-Life Alex. <laughs> I'm in Cube VR. I recently discovered this game and I really enjoy it because it is so cute, so beautiful. And, well, it's some kind of Minecraft game, right, where you have to craft, and it looks so good in the big screen beyond because of the OLED colors. So, yeah, that's why I'm here now, checking it out in the Vision Pro with ALVR, and yeah, wow, the colors, right? And now you even have less glare because the lenses of the Vision Pro are better, but again, unfortunately, the streaming quality is just not up to par to get this via display port. Yeah, but but the rest is oh, it's pretty pretty damn amazing. Oops. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, wow, I'm I'm impressed how well everything works here. In the Apple Vision Pro with Knuckles, streaming this from my laptop, and wow, it's it's a really good experience. I can see people just using this as their main PC VR headset, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it was only a matter of time, right, until this worked. But I'm happy to tell you that it works so well now and so quickly already. Nice. Yeah, so let me show you for a moment how I set this up. All right, the app that you need is called OpenVR Space Calibrator. And with that, you make your knuckles, your Valve Index controllers work with the Vision Pro. You start ALVR and the whole Apple Vision Pro thing. Then on the left, you see Miramar. That is your Apple Vision Pro. You start your knuckles, the right and left. For me, it's connected to my Big Swim Beyond, but I have the Big Swim Beyond display port not connected. Yeah, then you click on Start Calibration once you've chosen the left and the left controllers, and then you wave your knuckle controller around, the right one. And you keep on doing that until you see 100%, and that's it. Then you click on Close, and now you chose the other one, like the right one here, and the right one, knuckle controller. And then you do the same again. You again click on start calibration. You wave the thing around. And that's simply it. So this does not only work with the Big Screen Beyond. Obviously, you can also use the, the Vive or the Index whatsoever. Simply disconnect the display port, and then you're good to go. And after you've done this, you can use your knuckle controllers in VR with the Apple Vision Pro. And that's everything for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up and do let me know in the comment section, what do you think of this? Are you as excited as me about this? Let me know. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, absolutely do this now if you are indeed 
a fan of this crazy VR thing. That's everything I got for you today. I'm looking forward to seeing the next one. Until then, bye-bye.